Hi friends, this is Guru Prasad Balaji presenting you the way how to install Windows XP. Most of us know how to install Windows XP. Some may get confused during the partition table process. So I here demonstrate using the setup simulator. This is the first screen which is placed after inserting the CD. And black screen which you saw before is the BIOS. This blue screen is a welcome screen where it asks you to continue or repair or quit. That is to continue your installation press enter key on your keyboard or to repair your installation press R or to quit just press F3 on your keyboard. We are here to continue the Windows XP installation. So I continue with hitting the enter key. And this is the Windows XP licensing agreement that is EULA agreement end users license agreement which is given to the users for their reference. Just browse down by pressing the page down key. This license states that the Microsoft is not responsible for the piracy and other constraints. We proceed just by giving F8 key or to escape please press escape key and to continue we give F8 key. Here the partition table is prompted before you stating there are two partitions done on your hard disk say C colon as partition 1 and D colon as partition 2. The unpartitioned space which contains 8 MB comes as a default for your virtual memory. Select C colon as a default one for the installation of Windows XP. Press enter to continue your installation or to create a new drive press C. Here I want to create a new partition so I press the key C on the keyboard. Sorry the simulator doesn't support creating the partition. So I continue with the C colon Here there are four options in front of you. Before that I would like to tell you about the file systems. There are basically two file systems NTFS and FAT32. The FAT32 is otherwise called as FAT. The NTFS is nothing but new technology file system which supports the latest NT based operating systems. And FAT file system is the older one which supports Windows 98, 2000, ME and Windows XP. Basically the, win the NTFS file system helps you to compress your drive as you store your data on the drive. For a home PC or a personal PC please select the FAT file system. And to continue, press enter key on your keyboard. Now, the setup is formatting your hard drive and copying the installation files on the C colon. Now, your PC is restarted. This is the screen which prompts that the copying of files this takes part during the installation that is the files for the operating system are being copied on C colon. Please wait patiently during the installation process. Please do not quit.
this green dots shows the process being done and the window prompted before you shows the regional and language options you can modify this just by giving customers and for details of the US keyboard layout you can click this button for viewing the details here I continue with the next button enter your administrator password and the username for example I give the username as Guru Prasad And the organization as home to continue press next button here you are prompted to type the product key or the license key which is provided with the Windows XP installation CD for example This is the key licensed for my Windows XP. I continue with the next button. This is the name of the computer. You can change this to your convenience. Give the administrate password to protect your PC from hackers. Please do use the exclamation marks or dollar symbols to have a secured password but please do remember while repairing your PC this password is prompted so for convenience I give the password as dollar password P A S S W O R D and once again dollar p a s s w o r d the dollar symbol is an authenticated one which helps you from being hacked by the hackers to proceed click next button this is the day month and year of your pc and time settings you can change this and this is the GMT time which should be changed according to your country say my country is find of us greater than the GMT time that is I reside in India and in Chennai city if you reside in East Asian countries or West Asian countries you can adjust this automatically adjust clock for daylight saving changes proceed with next button the Windows XP is now installing the network devices and drivers and there are two settings prompted before you typical settings and custom settings the typical settings installs all the drivers uh, for the devices and also installs the TCP IP protocol conditions and drivers for your network so by default proceed with the typical settings and you can name your work group now finally the Windows XP is copying files on your hard drive say C colon to finish the Windows XP installation now the installation has done successfully and it's saving your settings and configuring the start menu options
and deleting the temporary files and rebooting your PC. Now the fresh copy of your Windows XP Professional is being launched. Have a great time. Microsoft, your passion, our work. Thank you.